The easiest way to publish a book on Amazon Kindle is to use a Word document. However, the Word document needs to be formatted correctly so that it's going to be a pleasure to read and is consistent all the way through the book. So let's start on formatting a Word document. Here's a sample book and I've got some text and some chapters. But they're in different styles. You can see this chapter is heading is much bigger than this chapter. And we have an indented paragraph here, but here it's not indented. So we want to make the book consistent. First, what we need to do is remove any styles that we don't need in the book. So to do this, bring up your styles drawer and let's have a look at the invisibles. The normal um, styles, of course, are normal and heading one. And I have a couple of other styles here, centered and credits. But we're going to look for styles that are not necessary. This one, emphasis. Let's find out where it is. Here, it's the style is applied to a blank line. Now, we don't need that. So we're going to delete the style. And now the style here is normal. Note heading, select all. There we are. We don't want that. Let's delete. Now <clears throat> we have the basic styles. The next step is to look for blank lines, lines that have got a paragraph mark that are separating two paragraphs of text because an ebook needs to be floating text which means the text will change in length and size depending on the device that a reader is using. We need to have the paragraphs joining each other and indented at the start. So you need to go through the whole document and remove any of these blank lines. This one, that looks okay. The next step is we want to be able to identify the chapters in the book so that this has got a chapter name, but it's going to be difficult to remember all the names of the chapters. So let's put the word chapter at the front of each chapter, copy and paste in front of each one. and put a chapter in front of about the author. Now when we search the document later, when we need to find the chapters, if we do a search here, it will find all our chapters. Now, having completed that, we now need to change the whole document into normal. The reason we do this is first of all, normal is for the, for the text, of course, but it's going to remove any other styles that we have in the document so that we start with an absolutely clean document. The style for normal for an ebook should be Times New Roman, size 12, no bold, no italic. And in the paragraph, very important that left and right indentation is zero, spacing is zero, and the first line is indented. You can change the size of the indent. Okay, now we're going to select the whole document. So we select all, and now we're going to click on the style normal and change the whole book, the whole text, to the style normal. It'll look a bit strange to start with, but the important part is all our text is now correctly paragraphed and it's retained any special text you have, italic or italic bold. So nothing has changed. Now we need to find our chapters, again, which we marked before. And chapters, very important, 
need to be need to use heading one. Oh, that's fine. Chapter. Now we're going to highlight a chapter and make it heading one. You can style the heading if you wish. The size you can make it a little bit bigger. A paragraph, we can have a little bit of space after it. Now let's go to the next chapter. Same again. Next chapter. Last one is about the author. Now, by using heading one on our document map, we go here. We now have our chapters in a list, and these will show up as chapters in Kindle. Uh, in a, on a Kindle reader, it will show it in the table of contents. So, very important that we have these in the document map. Now. Let's go back to the beginning of the book and we want to create obviously a couple of more styles here. Book title. Now I've got one here called book. I'm going to modify this style. I'm going to make it bold. 24 is big enough. I will make it a bit bigger. 26. And I'll just check in the paragraph that the outline level is body text. If it's set to level one, it will produce another heading, such as like heading one. So it's very important that it shows body text. Now we have our book title, author name, let's use that centered. And in here, we're going to insert a page break because that's the end of our cover page. And now we're on to our credits page. Let's select everything here and center it. And cover designer, I've got a, a style called credits, which is just italic. And this we want to make bold. So let's create a new style, bold centered. And we want it bold. So bold centered, and maybe for my book, bold centered. That's the end of our credits page. Insert a page break. And now we start on the book. The only other item we need to do is remove these erroneous marks. We don't need those. Oops. Missed my page break. Take clear those. Some more. One there. Now the very last thing to do is if you wish to have a page break between your chapters, which is a good idea, we're going to insert a page break. Now the chapter will start on a new page. So we'll insert another page break here. Now, very last thing, we don't want chapter in front of each chapter now, so let's remove it. It was only 
so that we could find the chapters. Now, the book is ready. This is ready to, um, to load onto Kindle, but with one, one extra step. Very, very important. File, save as, save as docx, not as doc. Um, docx is a much more later version of the file format. It can also be used to turn your books into EPUB or Mobi on the Calibre application. And docx um, can be loaded directly up onto Kindle without any problems. So we're going to save that book as docx and it's in XML format. There we are. The book is ready. And that's how it'll look on a Kindle.